Hello doctors, good afternoon, welcome back to our classes, Doctors Varna Balaji, online Ayurvedic classes. In today's topic, we are going to discuss with Marma. This is a topic which will go through in Ayurveda, Sharira Rachana, that is anatomy in your first year syllabus and in the final year, Shalya Tantra, surgery point of view also, this Marma plays an important role. Okay, it is a vast concept. Regarding this Marma, there will be a many points. But coming to examination point of view, you have to concentrate on some specific points. In this session, I will provide you what are the specific points which you have to concentrate as per your examination. Okay, firstly, our Acharyas, Cheraka and Vagbata has mentioned this Marma as an important and the basic thing which every physician, every doctor must follow. This must know the points of this marma for his treatment practice okay in this session i'll give you the definition and classifications of this marma in the coming sessions i'll provide you a mnemonic regarding the remembrance of this numbering of each and every classification of marmas okay moving into our topic definition of marma is marayanti marmani the reference is dalhana which is a commentator he explained as Marmani, the part of a body which leads to death due to an injury. That is, if a point is faced to an injury and if it causes a death to a person, means that point is considered as Marma. Next. Marma is defined as the place where an injury leads to Vishama Spandana, that is, irregular pulsation, Pida, that is, Physical and mental grief, rook, that is pain which a person afflicted. Next, coming to classifications. And regarding the marma, Sharangadara has mentioned marmani jiva adharani prayena munayoho jabuhu. Means Sharangadara also mentioned that marma is a seat of life. If you read this shloka, means marmani jiva adharani prayena Munayoho Jaguhu means Marma is a place which is a seat of life which is said by our Sharangadara. Now moving to classifications. There are many classifications and in the examination point of view these two types of classifications will be most asked things. So you have to know this and I will provide you a mnemonics in the coming sessions regarding the other types of classifications. Firstly 107 marmas were considered by our acharyas. These 107 marmas were classified in 5 varieties. That is Mamsa marma, Sira marma, Snayu marma, Asti marma and Sandhi marma. Mamsa marma 11, Sira marma 41, Snayu marma 27, Asti marma 8, Sandhi marma 20. These things you have to remember as 2 to set. Mamsa Sira. 1141, Snayu Asti 27 and 8. Finally, Sandhi will be 20. Mamsa Snayu, Mamsa Sira, Snayu Asti Sandhi. This is the order which you have to follow. And regarding this number, you have to remember 2 to set 1141, 27, 8, 20. Like this, if you remember, means it will be easier thing for your viva and examination point of view also if you want to answer the examiner the number of mamsa marma means at that time you can simply say as 11 okay next mamsa marma areas where will be this mamsa marma located they were hridaya indravasti stanarohita there were some of the uh, locations of this mamsa marma sira marma will be seen in apanga sthapani stanamula Brihati, Nabhi, Hridaya. Okay, next. Snayu Marma will be seen in Kakshadara, Kucha, Kshipra, Amsa and Utkshepa. Asti Marma will be seen in Nitamba, Amshapalaka, Shenka, Katikataruna. Sandhi Marma will be seen in Janu, Kurpara, Simanta, Kukundara, Avarta, Kukatika, Krikatika. Okay, these were the areas where you can see this Sandhi Marma. These are some of the areas actually. I will provide you all the areas in a separate lecture. Because there will be an individual thing which you have to remember the locations. In this you have to remember I am saying at least uh, 
three or four. My answer is that will be seen in these areas. Like that you have to remember in the examination point of view. You may not answer all those 41. But you have to know at least some among them. For your viva point of view also. Okay. Um, but all those 41 along with the mnemonic. I will provide you in the coming sessions. Next. Classification based on effect of injury. There were again 5 types of classifications based on effect of injury. There were Sadhya Prana Haramarma, Kalantara Prana Haramarma, Vishalyagna Marma, Vaikalyakara Marma, Rujakara Marma. Okay, Sadhya Prana Haramarma. Based on the name itself, you can understand which causes immediate death. Sadhya Prana Hara, immediate death. Kalantara Prana Hara. This is the one which causes death after a period of time. Kalantara means after a period of time. Vishalyagna. Means which causes death immediately after extraction of Shalya. Vishalyagna. Vishalya. By this name itself you have to understand Vishalya. If the um, Shalya is removed the patient will die. In some uh, concepts, in some areas also you will see. The bullet will be seen near the heart region. If the bullet which is considered as Shalya here. If it is removed the patient may die. This will be the most uh, common thing which you will see in movies and all no. So, you have to remember that as Vishalyagna Marma. Next, Vaikalyakara Marma, which causes a disability. It may, it may not cause any death, but it causes disability. Okay, Vaikalyakara Marma. Next, Rujakara Marma, which causes severe pain. As you all know, Ruja means pain. Rujakara Marma is the one which causes severe pain. This is a second types of classification based on the effect of injury. Sadhya Pranahara, Kalantara Pranahara, Vishalyagna Vaikalyakara and Rujakara Marma. Next. This is some things which is most important regarding this classifications. And in Satya Pranahara Marma, the Panchamahabhuta constitution is Agneya. In the Kalantara Pranahara Marma, Saumya and Agneya. The Agneya will be seen along with it, Saumya will be added. Next. Vishalyagna Marma. For this, Vayu Mahabhuta. Vaikalyakara Marma. For this, Jala Mahabhuta. Rujakara, Agni and Vayu Mahabhuta. This you have to remember. First, Agneya will be seen. Next, Agneya and Saumya. Third will be Vayu. Fourth will be Jala. Fifth will be Agni and Vayu. Okay, next. Survival period. This is the most important thing regarding this classification. In the case of Sadhya Pranahara Marma, death occurs within a week. In the case of Kalantara Pranahara Marma, 15 days or within a 1 month. Next. Chipra Marma will be seen if it causes.